So yesterday we were going to head out to work on our newest project, the Solstice Project. But then this happened. That's right, Arizona is capable of getting some pretty bad weather, too. Monsoon season will usually hit us pretty hard, and let me tell you, it interferes with doing our drone flights. Fortunately, today was a very different day, so we headed back out today. Um, no major storms hit us, and let's just go ahead and pull up. So we're talking about how we make money with our drones in this series, and on this one, we're actually going out to the job site, finally. So getting back to the solstice job site after doing planning at the office, starting to get things ready. But of course, there's still more to get ready. So let's take a look at this really quick. Today, we went out to the job site location and I did a flight for an ortho mosaic. And then I did a couple of flights that we had pre-set up here in the office. And finally, I did some setups in the field utilizing Litchie's waypoint features to get ready to start capturing this 53 home development. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So as you can see, we've got the uh, drone right here on screen and you might be hearing some of the uh, background noise from that as well. So the drone is just heading up and what it's gonna be doing, the, whenever I do a job site, I always start out with the ortho mosaics. The reason why I start out with the ortho mosaics, I know that this is gonna take a little bit of time I know that it's going to generate a bunch of JPEGs for me. So when I get back to offload the camera card from the drone, um, whatever first block of JPEGs there is, I know, hey, there's my model. So speaking of the model here, let's take a look. And we have already processed this. I just did a quick processing of the model. Let's do a view the map really quickly for you. And so it's overlaid on the Google Maps, but let's go ahead and turn that off. So. This is our area for the first phase of the project, and this model came out really nicely. So we're parked over here on the western side, and um, we've actually got a helipad right out here, and the screen is not catching up with this well, but that's okay. So I'm going to zoom this back out, and I promise it does look better. I'm just being a little impatient with, uh, with the whole map resolving here. In addition, just to check it out, so this is going to be an interesting build, to be sure. And I say that because this is a very steep terrain area. So let's just take a look at this. And you can actually make out the parcel areas. Even though they're still getting everything ready, you can actually see the parcels on the north side. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I think there's eight and nine here. And then we can also see on the south side. Now, while these parcels might look pretty short, they actually extend over the drop off. So I don't know if they're bringing fill into here or if they're going to do everything on the little pylon pier type things. But there you go. So what did I have to do? to collect everything. Well, for this flight, we used uh, Map Pilot Pro. So let's pull Map Pilot Pro up here, shall we? So I had already recorded out some things. So this was captured off of my phone. And let's just move along to our mission plans and we'll get a look in here. So detected camera mismatch. I had the Mavic Pro instead of the Mavic 2. And there we are, that's our location. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play here for a moment. So right now, what you're looking at is a simulation of the flight. I already did the flight, but I didn't screen record it while we were out there because I want to make sure that my iPhone can keep up with things. The iPhone is important to the controller and to showing everything that's going on on Map Pilot Pro. So with that in mind, I don't always want the background recording. Fortunately, one of the cool things here with Map Pilot Pro is that you can do a simulation of your flight. So, and I also got a sun angle warning, which has been popping up on me. Uh, Map Pilot Pro also asks me a couple of questions, return to home height, um, doing, a, uh, doing an elevation aware, terrain aware model as well. So I okayed through this. Once again, this is the flight simulator turned on. So the drone is not ready to go flying, but you can actually see what happens when I'm in the field. So while I'm in the field executing the mission, um, over on the right hand side, it tells me my distance flown, the speed that I'm going at, um, and I'm actually increasing the elevation here. We set this model to 250 feet above ground level. 
And so it's climbing in simulation fashion to the 250 feet. Just to let you know, this was done with the drone sitting outside. The props were taken off of it. And then I entered the simulator and, you know, just to give you an idea here. And as you can see on the left-hand side, my little arrow is now starting to move. So for this flight, we actually had each of these paths that it had to follow along. So it did take a little while to collect up all the images. I think we have 130 something images here. And in the end, those images go into the ortho mosaic. So there's this simulation of where my drone would be flying. Its start point is right over here at the little green dot, and its end point is over here at the little red dot near where we were actually operating from. from, uh, from. So there goes the drone, and I'm not gonna bore you with uh, sitting through and watching a simulation of the drone, but in the end, once the, um, the, simula once the actual flight was done, oh, by the way, it adjusted the, uh, the speed for me because of the lighting conditions. And that was here at the office, sitting out on the porch in a shaded area. So of course it's getting less light. So if you were to be out in the field with me, on one of these types of job locations, establishing our first major flight for such a large project. The first thing you'd see me do is break out the drone, utilize Map Pilot Pro or Drone Harmony or one of so many other apps, but those are the two main staples here now. And um, we'd go out, we'd fly this, we'd collect the ortho information, and then we'd move on to the rest. Now we've got some pre-planned flights that we'd set up in the office, but I also like to get boots on the ground to set up some more unique looks and views. So let's go ahead and close the QuickTime player here with that. You don't need to see all of that. Um, it'll just bore you. But uh, let's arrow back here. So this is the folder for setting up this first one. And so let's open those ortho images. So in total here, we had 132 images shot with map pilot pro to develop our ortho mosaic so here's just one little part of this right so i'm going to close that down so getting back to the office of course that's some of my post processing but i always like to jump in and see what's happened with the orthos so all of the information that we collected today with map pilot pro those 132 images you are looking at the results of those 132 images. You can also see a work truck that's out here along with another work vehicle. And then there's one more. So there's a couple of construction guys already out on the location, but we're just at the beginning here. So let's go back to the dashboard really quickly. And we did not fly this for a 3D model, but I thought you might like to get a look. So I'm just, you know, zooming in the point cloud here. So with that capture, not only did we generate our ortho mosaic and our digital elevation model and the surface model, we also generated the uh, 3D model. I'm going to turn that on to textured for you. So this was all captured earlier this morning. And once I was done with this, you know, like I said, getting back to the office, I really always like to see the, um, the final output. So even though we were not flying for a 3D model, this is not half bad. You can definitely see the changes in elevation in here. And you can see the hillside over here where some of those homes are going to be going. And then you can also see the blocked out areas. So one of my next steps is going to be to start doing some videos of this and actually doing some motion tracking, uh, motion tracking text and motion tracking areas to show each of parcel areas. So once we finished up with getting uh, this part done, my next part was not to check out the pre, uh, pre-selected pre flight paths that I'd already done. Um, instead, I wanted to add some things in. So we did a couple of test flights as well. And you saw that first video there. Let's pull this one up and let me just see. All right, there we go. So this is where the uh, drone was landing. So here comes the drone, and this was the drone landing from doing the ortho mosaic capture for me. So we're just bringing it back home, having it come down. By the way, Jody is operating a uh, GoPro here um, while we're just getting the drone down here. So, you know, just to give you guys an idea, when we go out on sites uh, in the near future, we'll we'll be making sure that uh, we do some recordings for you so that you can see what's actually happening out there. So let's see what the next one, because I had a couple of different ideas for today. One of the things that I do like to do is I will actually walk the length of the site usually. And 
I will start popping off waypoints in Litchi. So I am literally following along with the drone. Jody's right behind me uh, as we're going along this entire construction area. We're really lucky, by the way, to have such a brand new build site where everything's really not even quite finalized yet. So we're getting to document this from the beginning here. So as I'm flying this right now, I am utilizing Litchi and I'm using the Litchi uh, waypoint missions. And occasionally I'm using my C1 controller button to drop a waypoint. Now, this one might seem a little low to you and you know, I'm just getting a feel for this job location and um, how I want to show things off. So on the left-hand side of me, this is several new home build sites. To the right-hand side of me, um, I believe we've got a 14 in total on the southern side here. So at this moment, I'm just marking off a couple of waypoints to give some more dramatic flights in so that each time that we visit the site, um, the drone will fly the same course and we can utilize that video to show change over time. So there we go. I'm going to close that one down really quick and let's take a look at the next one. And that's right. We're down toward, uh, we're walking ourselves back up to where we were parked. You'll see the drone hanging out up here. And once again, um, once again, while the drone is up here, I am doing the waypoints. I'm also changing the drone, uh, the drone's direction. So the drone might be flying this way, but I'm actually shooting off to here. So I like utilizing these waypoints because they are reusable, but also because they really do offer a nice smooth flight pattern when it's all said and done. And with that in mind, let's go over to the videos we captured today. And let's take a look at this one. I'm not sure where we're starting off. I haven't even really started sorting some of this out. By the way, you might notice in here as we're looking at this one that, yes, indeed, there's still water pooled in these areas from yesterday's crazy hailstorm. And by the way, it was an insane hailstorm. I'm glad we didn't go out to fly yesterday with the, uh, with the possibility of rain. Uh, but now what we're doing, so this is a very slow movement right here because I'm moving things along, dropping a waypoint, seeing what I like visually, dropping another waypoint. Um, so right now, this is actually a manual flight on my part, but we do have the waypoint missions as well, and we can follow along with those too. Let's close that one out and let's pop the next one up here. So there are uh, neighboring homes already and in this new development area, and so what you're looking at now is actually me flying one of the Litchi waypoint missions. So I set the waypoint mission up. I was actually dropping waypoints while I was on the site. So I'm behind the drone right now walking along because I'm just keeping an eye for everything. But um, this is where one whole stretch of new homes is going to be. As you can see, there's a drop off down here. So once again, it's either going to be additional fill or maybe they're going to put the pylons out there. Um, I haven't looked close enough at the blueprints. I do know that there are a couple of multi-story blueprints, so maybe they're going to fit right in with this. But once again, this is phase one. And so the next step with this, as we're getting ready to compile the presentations and hand over some deliverables to the, um, to the realtor that I'm working with here, um, we'll probably go back and set up a couple of additional flight paths as well. So we'll discuss with him how he wants this presented because basically, not only is this for um, doing time-lapse work, this is going to be great marketing material for them as well. So sharp turn here, this would be something that I'd edit out. Uh, I did use waypoints to make this turn to pull it further back because one of the things that I really want to do is some of that uh, motion area tracking on each of those lots. So with that in mind, I wanted to make sure I was pulled all the way back. So one of the first lots is right in here where the mouse is swinging around. So here's the, uh, let's call them the southern lots, and here's the northern lots. So with this flight, I can easily identify some of these areas, especially with some of the uh, stakes in the ground. And we can actually block out little areas and say this is lot 41, lot 42, et cetera. Um, you know, these aren't going to be accurate lines. And we always put our disclaimer in there that, you know, we're not, these aren't property lines. These are approximate and, you know, kind of for showcasing what the, uh, what each of the lots looks like. So this is one of the full waypoint flights. We'll run it by the folks that we're working with, see if they like this, if they want some more elevation. But in total, I did set up four additional flight paths today for the video and still side. 
um, in addition to the two that I'd set up in office before, just for our initial thinking about what's happening with this job site. So yes, we do return several times on our initial setups. We get the okay from the clients. Uh, we see what they're enthusiastic about and what they'd like more of and less of. And then, um, then we compile these final flight uh, paths that we've created. And then we reuse them over and over again as the project goes on. So today is the boots in the ground to, uh, day. We did do some of the flight capture, but we also did some initial planning. Uh, by the way, the person jogging on screen down there is not Jody or myself. Nice gentleman who is coming up and he said, hey, saw your bird up there. So he had a couple of questions for us. Uh, no people, no issues with this location. As a matter of fact, when we were setting up to fly, somebody else who lived in the neighborhood had another drone up in the air. And uh, we uh, we saw that right away over one of the hilltops. Let's uh, let's reverse right here. So let me see. Right over at this hilltop in here, we saw a drone flying around. So we waited until that drone was done. We did put our aloft uh, our aloft uh, submission in and got our approval and everything. But we just wanted to make sure that we wouldn't be bumping into the other drone pilot in the area. But I think that they uh, they stopped for the day um, as we were getting set up. And then one of the other ones that I'm working on that I'm not super satisfied with, I need to go in and fix a couple of the waypoints. And I also need to deal with the speed that happened there in the front. Um, from that point forward, let me see, once the gimbal adjusts here, uh, I will most likely be using some of this, but some of that initial stuff was too clunky. So I'll either look into cleaning it up um, or maybe removing it from the presentation because we've already got several angles of this. Also, nice cloud build in the distance. For October, it really feels like monsoon season's hung in pretty well. So you can consider this part of our flight segment of the new Solstice project. So in, uh, in our workflow, you know, it's always uh, the customer contact first, discussing what's going on with the customers. Our, um, our second step is actually initial flight planning, getting an idea of where this work is going to be going on. Once we get everything set up with the initial flight planning, we'll do a boots on the ground for our capture and maybe for refi refining some of our flights. Next, after that, what we're going to be getting into is our post-processing, getting everything in a presentable format, and then finally handing the deliverables over to our clients. All right, so this is a quick recap of today's work. And it's actually, today's work has actually had a couple of days behind it. And that's okay. We don't mind doing a little extra for our clients because, you know, we get great referrals from them and we get additional work from them. So long as we're making sure that they're happy and enjoying the product and being able to utilize the product, we're all good. So if you'd like to know more about our entire process, I suggest heading over to classes.azdrone.net. And over there, you can actually check out our new class on the live projects we're working on. And this is actually part of one of those live projects. So we've got some more information about this overall project in those classes. So you might want to take a look. And you also might want to take a look at our class bundle. It's $150 off from its regular list price with a coupon code of OUCH. And yes, there is a funny story behind that. But um, if you're interested in uh, all 14 of our classes, head on over to classes.azdrone.net, check it out. And if this all ties together for you and you think that it could help you out, by all means, get in touch, check out the previews, whatever you'd like to do. So there you have it. We've got our first flight day down. I've got some things that I want to do and some things that I want to change. And we'll be doing one more flight this week to get everything refined. And then we will start compiling all of this into a presentation for our clients and a presentation that they will get on a regular basis.